having not just uh, intelligent robots that people can use as tools, but 3D printing, super smart CAD systems, it lets the locus of manufacturing, lets uh, more complex manufacturing be done by smaller teams. Uh, it, it empowers them to do more and do more interesting stuff, frankly. Detroit is the home of automobile manufacturing. Automobiles are becoming higher and higher tech. I tell everyone, you're driving around inside a robot, and 10 years from now, it's going to be an even smarter robot. Cars are becoming robots. Cars have all sorts of self-driving capabilities, which I think, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to be real soon when they're totally self-driving, but what it does is it enables people who are getting older to drive longer. It gives them more dignity, lets them be safer. Cars are the epicenter, actually, of robotics. <laughs> They're a robotic product. Detroit is where it's happening. So there's incredible technology going on here in Detroit in turning what were simple cars of yesterday into complex information processing devices today. We will have more localized manufacturing um, it may become m more sort of uh, less generic manufacturing with more craft, you know, uh, you know just as, as Kentucky is the home of bourbon uh, and Detroit has been the home of cars, it may become the, the home of other um, particular sorts of, of, of things that are built here or built in a certain way. Um, and that, but that will happen across the U.S., for me, the, the most important thing is to bring manufacturing back to the U.S. because if we're not spending that money overseas, we're spending it here, it creates jobs. It may be different jobs than are happening overseas, but spending the money here makes more jobs.